what are polygon primitives in maya After completing this lesson, you will understand what are polygon primitives, how to create polygon primitives, and what are the different options present in polygon primitives, and how to create interactively, and what is exit on completion. See, these are the different types of polygon primitives present in Maya. What is a primitive? Primitive is a basic shape. The name indicates clearly that is the beginning shape. You can use these basic shapes to start creating your own models in Maya. Polygon primitives is the fundamental shapes to create very complex models. We can create in two different ways. One is using the create menu, create polygon primitives, sphere. Now it created in the center of the viewport. And also you can create from the shelf poly modeling. Click here. This created here in the center. These are the two ways of creating polygon primitives. One is create menu, polygon primitives. Click on these options. I am tearing off this menu, polygon primitives menu because we are going to use them repeatedly now. And also the shelf button. If it is some other shelf button is activated, click on the poly modeling. Now, these are the different options related to poly modeling and when you click on the options these are instead of if you want to create a sphere with specific pro specific number of properties click here radius is for example this is one radius but i want two axis divisions 10 10 this is 20 20 but i want 10 10 and click apply see size is increased two times but the number of axes is decreased, number of divisions decreased to 10 and 10. Like that, if you want to create with specific number of divisions, specific number of options, you can open for all these uh, polygon primitives. When you have this box, small box that indicates it is having uh, properties, options. Click on cube options. Now, th see this is all the properties of uh, polygon cube options. You no need to worry in the beginning. Just click here and use the transformations W, scaling, you can scale in whatever the way you want. When you are creating tables, books, houses, walls, you can use, we will go like this. This is the basic starting point. Just we create the cube and uh, we scale it as per our requirement and uh, slowly we create our own models. If you see the names here, sphere, cube, cylinder. These are what all those shapes are. This is sphere, this is cube, this is a cylinder, this is cone, this is a torus, this is plane. See these are basic shapes you see in real life. For example, when you want to create a cone ice cream, it's always better to start with this shape. If you want to create a pillar, always better to start from the cylinder. If you want to create walls, books or anything, you can start from cube. These basic shapes, for example, if you see this, this is a gear and you can see the properties on the right side, the channel box and we, you can interactively change. See, this is having a lot of uh, properties, how much radius you want, internal radius, how much you want, I want to increase this radius first. See, we created a different gear, even the helix, select, select the object, primitive object and click here, you will see how much height you want. For example, when you want to create a spring kind of thing, number of coils, if you want number of coils more, radius to be less, we, we can create different types of polygon primitives. Even this one, pipe. How much size you want, how much thickness you want. This is platonic. Quads, triangles, this, this you will learn later. What are all those things? See, interaction. Manually creating this is not that easy. It takes a lot of time to create this model. If you want something like this, always better to start with the, the platonic. 
then you play with these properties then uh, one more important thing is uh, if you see here this interactive creation this is off till now when i click here it automatically creating and it saves the properties see this it saves the last created options by default one is this is one this is 20 and this is 20 and apply close these are the default options but we created the this pair with the previous options and if you want to create interactively just activate this then select see when i clicked this it has not created but the cursor has changed now you can create interactively cylinder first drag leave it and click and drag sometimes only one click click is required for some objects two clicks are required for some objects maybe three clicks are required for example pipe one two that is over once completed because exit on completion is there active it's coming out the cursor is coming out but if you switch off this and click cylinder see now the creation is over but still you can create one more you can create multiple objects like this because that is a when you come out when you want to come out click escape or click w that is what is exit on completion if it is on once after creating one that is over automatically it's coming out but if this is off if you want to create multiple primitive objects deactivate this if you don't want that just switch off this interactive creation so that always they create it in the center they look very simple but you can create lot of basic shapes and basic models from these primitives you need to it takes little bit of time to understand all the properties what are all these things and you should not worry to create something first you need to play with these basic shapes primitives then definitely you will create very good models in a very short span of time